We are closely tracking breaking news in Trenton, New Jersey. A triple murder suspect surrendered to police just about 90 minutes ago in a bizarre end to what police originally believed to be a standoff. Authorities saying the suspect is accused of killing three people in Pennsylvania before fleeing that state. Officers tracking him down in Trenton, where they believed he was barricaded in the side of a New Jersey home for six hours. But we have learned that may not be the whole story, with authorities saying that he was taken into custody outside of the home and had fled the scene before police ever arrived. News Nation's Dre Clark is in Trenton tonight with the very latest from that scene. And Dre, walk us through what happened here. How did police end up capturing the suspect? Well, Natasha, a Trenton police officer spotted Andre Gordon Jr. just casually walking down the street a few blocks from here. But for more than five hours, police had surrounded this home here. You see behind me where investigators are still on the scene here. They surrounded this home, believing that Gordon uh, was inside. But now police say Gordon was at the home here at one point, but he left before officers arrived and set up that widespread perimeter. Now, police say this morning Gordon stole a car here in Trenton and drove across the state line to nearby Falls township in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, where he broke into a home and shot and killed his 52-year-old stepmother and 13-year-old stepsister with an AR-15 assault rifle. Police say there were at least three other people inside the home, including a child when that shooting happened, but they hid from Gordon in a separate room and survived. Police say he then drove to a second home in the same town and murdered the 25-year-old mother of his two children uh, and then beat her mother nearly to death with the same gun that he used to to kill the victims. Gordon then carjacked a 44-year-old man's vehicle at a nearby store and drove back here to Trenton, New Jersey. Uh, there were people inside the home when Gordon ran inside. They ran upstairs and police uh, got them out through a second floor window. But for hours, local and state police officers, along with federal agents, surrounded the home, awaiting for Gordon to peacefully surrender, only to find out that he was never really inside the home. Here's more from Trenton's mayor, Reed Gasoria, talking about about how this all came to an end. Two blocks away, uh, he seemed to be walking down, fit the description. They approached him, he uh, surrendered peacefully. Yeah, the mayor says that he's actually very happy this entire ordeal ended peacefully, but heartbroken knowing three lives were taken senselessly. Meanwhile, back here live outside the home, you can still see a rather large police presence. This is still considered a crime scene, and so investigators will be here for several more hours uh, looking in and around this home here. Again, right now, police say Gordon was homeless, so one of the key questions they're trying to answer exactly is how was he able to get his hands on that AR-15 assault rifle? That's a really Really big gun, but tonight he's in custody facing both weapons and murder charges. Natasha. Yeah, we appreciate that breaking update from the ground. Dre Clark live in Trenton, New Jersey tonight. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.